sure, no problem, allow me to clarify. Everyone has been rooting for XRP to achieve a major milestone since the start. $10,000 was a sure bet, an educated guess, and a potential amount. That forecast now has a lot more weight. Importantly, BlackRock's Larry Finn is on board with this idea, and he's not merely bringing up the poor $10,000 price tag per XRP. It sounds like it's really necessary, according to him. Let's skip the fluff and get to the meat of the matter at hand. Okay, boss. I could use your assistance. Simply clicking the like, subscribe, and bell buttons will bring you into our incredible community. You can think of gigantic beings as food. The use of XRP in international transactions is currently being considered seriously by well-known financial firms such as BlackRock and Vanguard. Things will improve, so there's no need to fret. Rumors regarding BlackRock are circulating. A new exchange-traded fund, ETF centered on XRP, is being launched. What you heard is accurate, but that's not all. Hold on a second. Now, Larry Fink is trying to predict the most consequential event that will occur in the massive real estate industry, which is worth $3 trillion. With an astounding $1.2 quadrillion in trading and foreign swaps through ISDA, and everything becoming tokenizable on the XRP ledger, as it is, the XRP is the connection's mechanism. We're more than just a ledger and wave. It's what the younger generation does when we bring up the $10 triple zero XRP price point. A price increase of up to $60,000 is possible. I say we go on to the next section immediately. To Larry, it appears like BlackRock has dropped another bombshell. His actions speak louder than words he portrays Ripple and its cryptocurrency XRP as being on the cusp of a monumental event. Below is a clip from our movie and there is a token for each portion. That is sure to grab people's interest. We won't be waiting much longer now that Larry appears to be endorsing BlackRock's plan for an XRP ETF. Feel free to view this video at your leisure. To provide the impression that it is more reliable and secure, one should hold off until the Bitcoin ETF is released. May I inquire if you have any plans to launch another ETF? Get some XRP or look at an exchange-traded fund? Somewhere you have Ether, and I know it. Consider XRP. Do you want me to answer that for you? Your demands are too great for me to handle. The work I do is impressive. Not everything is my cup of tea. Please wrap for me. I appreciate it. Something out of the ordinary has been going on in the cryptocurrency realm as of late. One of them is this XRP image on the famous cryptocurrency exchange Crypt.com, whose worth skyrocketed to a staggering $43,000. This is going to happen again and again. Taken together, these events are consistent with the pattern of unexpectedly high XRP prices. Do you recall last week when we discussed an issue with 7,000 XRP at a major exchange? Here we are again with Crypto.com, and it seems like a lot of markets are seeing these unexpected spikes in XRP's value. While the current surge in the XRP market and BlackRock are unrelated topics, I'd want to shift the conversation to something entirely different, something I discovered after extensive research that is equally intriguing. Next up, we'll discuss Gary Jindler, the man who succeeded Jake Clinton as head of the SEC. As you may or may not be aware, Jindler consistently considers XRP to be a safe investment. This section piques my attention. Robert M. Jensler, Gary's brother, is similarly aged and resembles Gary in appearance. Robert holds great significance for T-Price. As VP, it is at this point that you come to understand that TR Price is unlike any other investing firm. It is one of the largest owners of XRP, Bitcoin, and Ethereum, thanks to its large holding in all three. Here, there's a fascinating connection. Even CC Chairman Gary Jindler continues to classify XRP as a security. Through a renowned funds manager, his twin brother has substantial holdings in RP and other cryptocurrencies. I'm enjoying my work. Many things are made worse by that. Robert Jindler, VP of TR Pricing, may have insider knowledge on XRP's ability to become Bitcoin in the complex realm of cryptocurrency investments and regulations. This is an intriguing idea. Considering the company's considerable holdings in all three cryptocurrencies, along with the SEC's categorical denial of any insider trading, lends credence to this hypothesis. The findings of these studies and papers are not consistent with one another. The SEC has frequently been implicated in these investigations into insider trading and market manipulation. Workers at the SEC are apparently informing their loved ones about digital assets that may soon be deemed unsuitable for stock market investment. Presumably, this is a pattern. Afterwards, these close associates put money into these assets at an early stage. After the asset is no longer classified as a security, its value skyrockets, allowing these loved ones to profit handsomely from their low-priced purchases. 
We can examine the probability that Robert and Jindler were informed by Gary Jindler, Robert's brother, that the SEC's case against XRP might be unsuccessful. With this kind of data, lawmakers may finally try to settle their differences. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for astute investors to purchase XRP from Ripple Lab and the SEC. But more and more capital is pouring into XRP, Ethereum, and Bitcoin as its price keeps going up. This furthers the narrative of how XRP could achieve unprecedented levels of success. From experts who have been optimistic on XRP and named Jack $10,000, $20,000, or $40,000 of According to Ripple, the value will skyrocket and may even surpass $589. This audacious forecast demonstrates the growing interest in XRP and the opportunities it presents in the cryptocurrency market. The financial sector is interested in acquiring XRP. An XRP ETF, in my opinion, will be the initial major step nonetheless. We should investigate this further. Descending from the peak of this occurrence, Crypto Basics has released some intriguing news. The expert reported revelation that JP Morgan has made a significant investment in XRP has piqued the interest of a former Ripple director. We should investigate this matter more because this fresh knowledge has made me ponder. Going forward, this is how the plot unfolds. Ben Armstrong, who was previously associated with the BitBoy crypto brand, allegedly made some contentious CLS allegations on JP Morgan's supposed involvement with XRP, according to a prominent figure in the crypto community. Armstrong, who had previously served as Ripple's director, felt compelled to reply to this. According to him, there are currently 7.5 million XRP coins held by JP Morgan. Armstrong continues by stating that 7.5% of JP Morgan's wealth was involved in this purchase. However, this number appears to be significantly off. With JP Morgan's estimated total assets of $3.89 trillion in 2023, Armstrong's figure doesn't quite add up. The current value of 7.5 million XRP is $4.46 million, yet it is still less than 25% of JP Morgan's income. Armstrong stresses the significance of the rumor that JP Morgan is allegedly using this strategy to covertly store XRP. He claims that among cryptocurrency companies, JP Morgan is one to watch. Big Wall Street banks may be moving into Bitcoin, according to recent headlines. Even if the figures aren't entirely accurate, it's still a positive concept that major banks are investing in cryptocurrencies. This is particularly the case with XRP. It hints to a larger pattern in the relationship between conventional banks and digital currencies, with XRP serving as a focal point for some intriguing shifts. BlackRock, the asset management behemoth, has been in the spotlight ever since Armstrong made his even more audacious remarks. When he claims that BlackRock is now considering XRP as an investment opportunity, he means it receiving clearance for its Bitcoin shares recently. Then, Portfolio Armstrong continued. Additionally, he is keeping tabs on the ongoing litigation involving Ripple and the United States Securities and Exchange Commission, which is centered around the fact that these massive financial institutions are becoming involved with the matter at hand. Consider whether this pattern of accumulation is genuine, despite the fact that the ongoing legal drama demonstrates that people are extremely confident in XRP's future. Even though XRP has a checkered history with authorities, many banks are still putting their money on it. The financial sector's use of Bitcoin was inevitable. More than five years ago when I initially brought this up, it seems like an impossible fantasy. Though I do not disagree with you, I do not think the question is if but rather when this is due to the current state of Bitcoin and the improbability of XRP's subsequent movement. But it's possible that Armstrong's painting doesn't depict the complete scenario. Actually, following Armstrong's startling assertions, the plot thickens. And further dose of cynicism was provided by Matthew Hamilton, 